स्टॉप शटिंग डाउन योर मैकबुक ऑल द टाइम यू आर किलिंग इट वेलकम बैक टू आई गिक्स ब्लॉग माई नेम इज लक्ष्य एंड ट्रस्ट मी गाइज डू नॉट शट डाउन योर मैक बुक ऑल द टाइम इट डज नॉट नीड टू बी शट डाउन एवरी सिंगल डे ट्रस्ट मी आई एम गोन शो इट टू यू आई एम गोन टेल यू वॉट आई मीन बाई दिस सो लेट मी टेक यू ऑन अ जर्नी आई एम गोन शो यू वॉट हैपन्स एवरी सिंगल टाइम यू शट डाउन योर मैक बुक सो एवरी टाइम यू शट इट डाउन एंड यू टर्न इट बैक ऑन बेसिकली द रैम गेट्स क्लियर कंप्लीटली नॉ रैम कंटेन्स अ लॉट ऑफ टेम्पररी फाइल्स अ लॉट ऑफ टेम्पररी स्टोरेज विच बेसिकली मेक्स योर मैक बुक run faster it loads your app faster it loads your web pages faster and loads your programs faster as well but once you shut it down that ram because it is temporary memory gets cleared and every time you turn your macbook back on it takes much longer for the apps to get optimized again for the apps to run and get stored in this ram again so basically loading your web pages loading your applications loading your programs takes much more longer You see Apple's memory management system actually is very very efficient even on the MacBook as well as on the iPhone. This is exactly why we recommend you to not force close your apps, not clear them from memory on your iPhone every single time. Let them stay in memory, let them run. This means they run faster and they are more optimized for you rather than just force closing them or well clearing your RAM. One more thing, one more thing. One more thing that happens every time you shut down your MacBook and you turn it back on every time it boots up it runs a post this is power on self test this test checks your MacBook for any kind of hardware issues any kind of software issues basically it ensures that everything is correct everything is running well Now post is a good thing for your MacBook but if you run it multiple times a day or way too often it adds a lot of stress on your MacBook I'm going to give you an analogy every time you stop at a traffic signal you don't have to turn your car off because every time you turn the ignition on it adds some stress to the engine it consumes more fuel that is the same logic here as well turning your MacBook every now and then adds some more power requirements to your MacBook's battery it adds some stress it adds some load on the main circuit board which means in the long run if you keep shutting down your macbook twice thrice maybe even more during one single day it adds a lot of stress and is just not good in the long run okay now this is not that much of a problem but you still have to spend a lot of time waiting for your macbook to turn back on i know this is not too much it's probably like 4 5 seconds not that long but you still have to wait now one more thing that happens is you can't really use your touch id to log into your macbook every time you turn it back on every time it boots up basically. Basically. so you have to enter your password now that is 5 6 more seconds added to your boot up time which means if you have an urgent email to send or an urgent message to reply to you have to wait for an extra 10 seconds now this 10 seconds does not sound too much right now but imagine this over the course of the day or over the course of a month this adds up which means you're wasting a lot of time waiting for your macbook to boot up so if you can't shut down what should you do well you should put your macbook in sleep mode sleep mode is better it does not consume a lot of power your macbook does not completely shut down but still saves a whole lot of power and the benefits extend okay when you put your macbook in sleep mode it runs a lot of the tasks in background but they don't consume too much of power your macbook will periodically check for emails messages even updates now all of this obviously will not happen if you shut it down every single time it will not have any power what so ever to do this so it is better to keep it in sleep mode sleep mode is also very convenient if you think about it you don't really have to wait that much if you once you lift that lid up the screen lights up almost instantly and the best part you can use your touch id as well you don't have to enter your password every single time you boot up from the sleep mode which you have to do after you've shut down your macbook okay this part is clear that you don't have to shut down your macbook all the time you should use sleep mode often but then when should you shut down your macbook i'm not saying you never shut down but sometimes it needs to be done and when well first of all if your macbook is slowing down if you're experiencing lags or any sort of performance issues a restart would definitely fix that next thing if you have an update to install then definitely you will have to restart and shut it down and then boot it back up so that's one more instance now if you're traveling and you won't be using your macbook for days on end then definitely shut it down my advice is keep your macbook running for at least 4 5 days even a week on end without shutting it down 
put it on sleep mode and enjoy. You will thank me later. Your MacBook will run faster and will stay alive for much, much longer. Oh, also before I go, one big thing to note, do not leave your MacBook plugged in all the time. It does not need to be charged the entire goddamn day. Don't charge it all the time. You're ruining the battery health. You're killing it once again. So don't charge your MacBook all the time. And that was it. I hope I taught you something new today. If I did, then let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to iGeeks blog if you haven't already. Turn on notifications for all of our videos so that you never miss out on these exciting content ever again. I'll see you guys in the next one.